looks like we're moving on to Ilios here. Uh, based on what I'm, I'm I, Ilios is some of some of my favorite maps are in Ilios. Anytime I'm playing competitive and I see Ilios come out, I'm insta locking that Lucio, insta locking yeah. anything that has boop and K. Yes. I'm on, I'm ready uh, to boop people into those wells or wherever it may be. So I'm excited to see some environmental kills. Give them to me. <laughs> yeah, the environmental you sound kills so happy. Really hog. <laughs> There's nothing so as satisfying as booping somebody off. It's free serotonin, y'all. Right? It really is free serotonin, and it's kind of a hard time right now. Getting serotonin is difficult. I, you know, either get it by ordering too much at McDonald's and bringing it home with me, or from looping people off the map. Those are my two most of serotonin right now. It's a limited choice. So we are indeed on the well. So I think I may get my my uh, my joke. We are seeing, uh, we are seeing Crunchy Leaf indeed on that Lucio. Uh, as well as go to go to the Reinhardt. So you don't often see Reinhardt in three v threes, just because he's not the most mobile character other than his shift. I mean, he needs to be kind of in close range unless he's a sniper with those fire strikes. So uh, surprising, but with the Lucio, it makes it more possible. And we're seeing what's his name on Echo Oni on that Winston um, Reaper direct, pretty much direct counter to, to Winston here. So we'll see if Oxy Bleach will be able to pick him up. Oh, huge, huge. Um, pin there from Ghost there, taking out Oni, and what's his name also, Zen is not going to put up much of a fight against the Reaper Ryan and Lucio coming at him there. So we've got the Funky Bunch taking that first pick against GHS there. Uh, Oxybleach, they were just running a very kind of like close-knit uh, brawly comp is what we would call it, and the opposite team being GHS was just kind of running something that was not great against that winston uh is kind of countered by reaper and also that early pin by ghost was just the nail in the coffin the early nail in the coffin uh so now on the side of funky bunch we are seeing that lovely pharmacy and the hog so they're pulling out two very popular combinations the pharmacy and the hog very early on as well as seeing the hog over here on the side of ghs as said before hog super popular pick meaning if either one of these sides sides win here they're not going to be able to have that hog anymore either oh only almost getting taken out there by oxy bleach with that boop uh they're they're definitely all waiting for it far it does also have that boop potential with her her rocket launch with her launcher uh and the hogs are going to be playing around that well as well uh a very popular arcade mode hog but hog in the hog in the hole or something i don't personally play it but they like to pull each other into the well so they'll be playing by the sides by the corners hoping to get that early pick also speed torrent on that genji getting a little bit low should probably run back to his lucio right now which is exactly what he is doing over there uh, Ghost and Oni, we're getting a little bit of a hog 1v1 with a little bit of help from Oxy Bleach over here. This looks like it's becoming kind of a poke battle. We'll see who gets ults first. Oni getting very close to all. Oni ulting immediately. Uh, Ghost getting taken out by Speed Torrent. And what's his name taking out? Uh, sorry, Speed Torrent taking out Crunchy Leaf. What's his mate, name taking out Ghost? We've got only Oxy Bleach on the side of the Funky Bun. It's not looking great for them, but they are getting close to ult. If they can get a huge ult here, as long as it doesn't get pushed back into their face unfortunately getting taken out by what's his name on that lucio no no environmental kills i'm a little disappointed but i'll i'll get over it uh ghs taking that win there just great teamwork over here on the side of ghs um meaning ghs no longer has um either of the picks they have there no so no lucio no hog to push forward to the next round my guess is we might see pharmacy from their side uh we'll have to see it we do see the mercy soldier uh, and then Oxy Bleach on that Junkrat. Junkrat, a, a pretty decent pick for 3v3, a lot of splash damage. You can end up accidentally killing somebody without even seeing them. Uh, and it's very fun to do a comp, very possible in 3v3 as well. Uh, just a lot of damage output there with that Junkrat. Crunchy Leaf, uh, great pick on the Moira. As always, we're seeing the Divas. I'm seeing a lot more Divas in, in these 3v3s than we did last time. Divas is also a very good uh, damage output, a lot of mobility with those boosters. So able to get on the high ground and get into the face of the enemy. So uh, it, this might be another kind of instance of a poke battle. Uh, so a lot of the time 3v3s are either poke battles, wait for an ult, or kind of immediate aggressive attacks, uh, trying to take somebody out kind of immediately. So we're seeing um, Funky Bunch doing a great job at taking the high ground over here uh, by the D.Va and, and kind of taking control of the point. Um, if you don't know, if you are new to kind of Overwatch 3v3s, if there is, uh, if one team is not 
fully killed by the other in a certain amount of time, then the point does open up and then uh, a team needs to cap the point. So taking early control of the point is not a terrible idea. Most games are not won that way, however. Uh, so as anticipated, this is kind of a poke battle, which is perfect for both Soldier and Junkrat. You know, Soldier able to get a lot of damage out there. Junkrat also being able to do it so as well. Um, but not getting so much damage here. Uh, looks like what's his name is getting close to an ult here on Soldier, which is a great ult for uh, for this kind of purpose, as long as they can kind of get into that way and make sure that Diva is out of mech. That's a very important part. Huge ult here from Crunchy Leaf, kind of taking damage all over here onto Oni W. Uh, what's his name ult coming out, trying to take out, taking out the Junker out with ult, taking out the Moira as well. If you just give it a moment, I'm sure he will. And. Diva getting taken out on the side of Funky Bunch. So they simultaneously capped the point as they killed the entire team. So either way would have gone. Um, there we just saw, honestly, as I said, poke battle. Who gets the ult first? And it seemed like What's-His-Name was outputting just a little bit more damage than Oxybleach was. And Soldier ult, Soldier ult is a very strong one in 3v3s. So overall, fantastic job from GHS uh, there. Just a little bit more poke damage than the side of Funky Bunch, and that's what really won it for them. Um, so now on the side of GHS, we're seeing the May Symmetra, the uh, the kind of melty, <laughs> melty no-aim uh, side versus uh, Oxy Bleach here on the Zarya Ghost on the Hog. Very popular pick, as said. And Anna, we've got nades on both sides, so uh, those anti nades could be really, really important to pull out early abilities, pull out Maze Ice Block, pull out uh, Symmetra, Symmetra's Teleporter. Uh, as we're seeing, Symmetra's Teleporter on the side of GHS, kind of putting them uh, behind points so they have a place to, to run if ne if necessary. Ghost waiting around that well, hoping to get a pull, pull in, but they're, they're smart. Look at them hiding behind that, that tower. They're probably looking for a teleport behind the team. That's really how you use Symmetra here in these 3v1s. You try to kind of catch the other team off guard, kind of immediately just teleport into them, get some early damage off. Oh, Ghost getting a huge pull onto Symmetra, uh, but Crunchy Leaf, or sorry, what's his name, doing a fantastic job at sleeping that Ghost early on. Oxybleach does, in, uh, in fact, take out Oni, uh, but what's his name is set up on high ground, which is a great place for Anna to be. A huge nade onto Zarya. Zarya can um, undo that nade with a bubble, uh, and here it looks like what's his name and Speed Torrent have kind of been split up, so Speed Torrent needs to get back into the line of sight of uh, what's his name here. Um, we're not really seeing any alts coming up here, so it's really just going to be based on who can get the next pick here. Uh, May has used Ice Blocks, so they don't have the ability to self-heal anymore. Oxybleach shaking out Speed Torrent here as well, and it's really only left with what's his name kind of throwing themselves into the fray there. So we're seeing Funky Bunch taking the win here. Uh, GHS kind of <laughs> tried a... a, a an interesting comp. Symmetra is not often used. Uh, in fact, we're seeing Oni kind of memeing over here saying, I didn't mean to pick Sim. Uh, it's it's not a common pick, really, in 3v3s. But they tried something. It didn't work. Now they need to, to stick to something that works. Um, McCree is a great pick here. A, a lot of damage. And they recently upped his health as well. Great pick. And Oxy Beach on that Echo, as we've seen. Most uh, so far tonight, uh, the team that's chosen Echo has won from what I saw. So Echo seems to be a great pick for these three v threes. Just kind of able to laser down enemies just very easily, especially when they're what we would call squishies, such as McCree and Anna. So if Oxy Bleach can get into the face of either one of those squishies, they'll, they'll have a great job, especially with that Mercy boost. Uh, oh, huge sleep onto Ghost. Ghost getting very, very low there with a sleep from Speed Torrent. What's the name? Getting taken out by Oxy Leech, as we saw this. But the res coming in from Crunchy Leech, bringing back Oxy Leech, was taken out by Speed Torrent there. Goes a finally an environmental kill. Ghost taking out Speed Torrent by pushing them off the edge. Got a little bit too close to the edge there. And the Funky Bunch take the win. Though this was definitely, so far, one of the tighter games that we've seen. Great job for most teams. Let's Absolutely. see the play a good game. Yeah, no, that was fantastic. And we finally got our environmental kill. It was the last one <laughs> of the game. Uh, a beautiful ult here from what's his name. More ult uh, does not mean survival from this. Uh, Ghost did have uh, Matrix up, but it wasn't enough. It's only three seconds now, so it's not as strong as it used to be against the Soldier Hall. And overall, fantastic job from both teams. Congratulations to the Funky Absolutely. Bunch. Absolutely.